one of which has the tap on the inside. Don't know if you can see that. So welcome back everybody to WAUK. Today is the third episode in the series of stuff I use. Now as you all know I use the trailer to go camping, to go to shows, um, anywhere I can really. Um, what you don't all specifically know is equipment I use. Obviously I've got the kitchen. This drawer houses my, uh, my, my cooker, my hob, my spare gas canisters and some larger utensils like spatulas and such. This one houses all my dried food. Oh, there's some onions in there already. But um, stuff like rice, dried pasta, dried beans, things like that, all in that one. This cupboard is my, uh, is my pots, pots and pans, really. Uh, eating utensils, uh, obviously knives and forks I have there, kettles, uh, frying pans and such and things like that. Uh, this one I like to think of as my um, under the sink kind of cupboard. So I've got me... me wash basin, uh, I've got some antibacterial wipes, there's some bleach in there, there's also fuel and fire lighters, carrier bags for, for storing rubbish. Um, and that's that. These close by a simple lock system um, up at the top. Uh, I don't know if you've watched many of my videos or if you're new to my channel, but all this is getting torn out and replaced next year. I've got a few plans on, on how to make it a bit more efficient. Um, then, in the, coming to the middle, uh, we have tinned food. Um, obviously, we've got tinned meat, tinned uh, fish at the back. We've got uh, tinned chilli, baked beans. We've got some stock cubes if we were to make a broth or a stew. Uh, down, we have condiments, teas, coffee, sugars, salts, uh, olive oils, chilli oils, kitchen foil, things like that. Just, just ge general condiments you use in the kitchen. And that kind of covers the kitchen dead quickly. Uh, but we're not concentrating on that today. We'll move over to the interior, uh, the bedroom. Uh, we have a hold all, uh, basically, on the door there. Let's see if I can get it all in. Bottom one, it's just odds and ends. Uh, dog poo bags, dog leads, spare gas, uh, spare crock clips to go onto the battery with a, with a cigarette lighter. Uh, we have quick hand wash. Um, huggies or bum wash or, or whatever you're going to do. We have uh, my, my wash bag, so it's got a toothbrush, toothbrush shower gel in there. Uh, headache pills and uh, insect repellent. Uh, just Vicks Vaporub at the moment as insect, insect repellent, but that should have some, some DEET or something in there, or an equivalent. Uh, toilet paper, good for blowing your nose, wiping up spillages, uh, wiping your ass when you're caught in a situation. Uh, and finally, I've got my electrical thing, which has got a torch, a head torch, and, and some charging cables in there at the moment. Uh, moving into the bedroom, obviously we've got the bed. Down at the very back, I don't know if there's going to be enough light to see. I hope there is. But just there is my folded up chair. Down the side of the folded up chair is all the spare crop clips and spare bits for the awning um, that I keep in a box all the time. In here, I have uh, a little thing that I can wee in at night and uh, a gas heater for the very long cold winter months. Um, in this box, you've probably seen me uh, lining it, I have my, um, my gas lanterns. Ignore that, that's something I'm gonna be doing in a little while. That's my coffee. There are um, some, some ratchet straps that I can use for either tying stuff to the roof or securing the, the awning on very windy days. And obviously I've got the bed, I've got um, just up there, I don't know if you can see that, if it's too dark. Tell you what, let's flick some light on. I have a carbon monoxide detector and just some power outlets and obviously my bedroom poles and, and some other odds and sods uh, gl leather gloves for keeping my hands safe um, other odds and sods that I have in the trailer okay guys so none of the items I've just shown you i.e. the kitchen or the bedroom area of my trailer have anything to do with what this video is about this video is about three items please ignore the table um, that I want to show you and then hopefully they'll make your life easier if you purchase such items Anyway guys, I'll just set the camera up and I will show you these quick three items. Okay, so first of the items guys is my water container. This one is made by Ridge Monkey and uh, a lot of people who I uh, kind of knock about with have one of these. Um, it has two openings on the top. One here, a smaller one, and a bigger one here. But if you look at this bigger one, it houses the tap. So you never lose it, which is very good. So the idea is you attach that one there, point it downwards, attach your lid on the inside of there to keep it safe so you don't lose it and then attach that from there. This is the medium size one 
think it holds about 10 litres, this one. And that's it ready to go. Now, without that, as I say, life would be a pain in the ass. Uh, you simply turn the tap. Oh, other way, sorry, my bad. And water comes out, and now the floor's wet. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fantastic piece of kit. My one's got a little bit of a dent in it from a blooper that I just did that I'll try and work into the video. But uh, yeah, that's it. It says Ridge Monkey on the side. And it's a really good piece of kit. Um, obviously, you don't want to be walking to the, to the taps at the campsite every time. Anyway, guys, I'll just uh, clean up here a little bit, possibly relocate because I'm standing in water. And I will uh, fetch in the second item. So I'm out of the water now. Second item is my cool box. Now, I can't tell you too much about this cool box because I got it off a friend who watches my videos. All right, Ed, how's it going? Ed used to do a lot of uh, kayaking and canoeing and things. Uh, he lives on the coast, on the northwest coast, uh, not too far away from me. And um, he said this has been sat in his shed for a long time and um, he's got no use for it anymore, so would I like it? Um, so I bought it off him and, and to be fair, it's bloody fantastic. I've tried to do a little bit of research on the company and everything and I can't find out too much too, too much information about it. Um, I've watched some reviews on similar items um, on YouTube and um, yeah, it's all kind of positive. Um, some people are saying, you know, it'll keep, if you put your, your ice cooler packs in, which I have inside it because I've just come back from a camping trip, um, it should stay cold for up to five days. Now this one has been in uh, since Wednesday and it's now Sunday and it's actually turned to water but what I can say is the beers are actually still very cold to the touch. Other beers are available by the way guys, um, you don't have to drink these beers um, and all the food is still fresh. Um, I mean I can see that, I can see the condensation on my actual water bottle. So, so yeah, I mean it works absolute wonders. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Um, before this I had a smaller one that went to one of the guys in the group and to be fair I've got plans um, as I've said earlier in, in the video for the back of the trailer for the kitchen area um, of which I'm, I'm planning on putting a, a powered fridge in the back. Um, so this will be going uh, sooner or later but it's a cracking cracking piece of kit. It has drain holes on the side so obviously if you put ice or condensation you can you can obviously um, open it and, and, and clean it out very quick and easy um, and, and it's just been a really good fridge. I've used it two or three times now and it's absolutely fantastic. Right and for the third and final item I will fetch in right now. So my third and final item is uh, going to take a little bit longer to describe and, and explain a bit of the backstory to. Now I've been following TA Outdoors for a while. All right Mike if you watch these videos and um, he's got a very similar stove but his one's stainless steel and his one is rather expensive. Um, the same stove can be seen in My Self Reliance which is a guy called Sean James. Uh, Sean James is a guy who lives in Canada and uh, he owns a spot of woodland where over the past 18 months or so he's been building himself a log cabin but he has the same stove as Mike. Can't quite remember the brand so somebody please put it below but it's a stainless steel one similar to this, a lot better than this but I couldn't afford one of them so I went for this one which is an original Outbacker stove. Um, it cost me about £160 on eBay um, and this I've just come back from a camping trip this weekend and it is proved invaluable not only for heat it'll keep a couple of people warm if you sat around it I mean it's not like a, a proper campfire or anything like that but for cooking as well I mean I only ever lit my stove my gas stove that I've got in the back of the trailer um, to make our morning coffee uh, whilst this was heating up so we'd light this put a kettle on to make a coffee and then while this was warming up we'd have a coffee and the second coffee and breakfast indeed were all cooked on this um, I'll hopefully put in a couple of, of photos at the end of the video and you can see me using this um, but it's all self-contained in the bag um, you undo the clips there like that and you open it up it's going to look a little bit tired because it was caught in a recent storm so it's going to look a bit dirty and used but that's exactly how it should look. The bag falls off and the legs fold out. Again, excuse me, it's just here for demonstration purposes. Right, so everything is housed inside. It's got about a nine foot chimney or a flue um, that comes obviously out of this. Um, the door opens on a simple hinge and there's all the flue in the chimney. It has a, 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 an ash catch tray, which is absolutely fantastic for keeping it clean. And it has a little glass window on the front. And it has your air control. 
And to be fair, it's not massive. Maybe just over a foot long by about 10 inches wide. Um, but as I say, for the price, it's proved absolutely invaluable. I've, I've loved using it. Um, and, and no doubt I'm going to use it for a few years more. So if anybody's interested in one of them, that's the logo you're looking for. Let me just find it on the front of the bag. Um, I have got a picture on my Instagram of when I first got it as well, because I was, I was really, really excited. Um, so, so yeah, that's the logo to go and look for. And, and if you're interested in one, what I will say, it's very dependent on, on the wood you use. If you use things like a soft wood, like a pine or something like that, it'll burn through it quite quick and you won't generate much heat. But if you use um, an oak or a hard wood, um, it'll burn a lot longer and burn a lot hotter. Um, so I started it off with soft woods so it'd get going. And once I had a nice bed of coals, I chucked the hard woods in and um, it would generate some heat, some heat. Um, but I'm, I'm really, really chuffed with it. So guys, anyway, I, this episode is going to be very short and sweet. Those three items are um, absolutely tried and tested. Absolutely love all three of them. Uh, hopefully they're going to bring me much, much more pleasure and uh, a lot more years of good service. Um, and if I do upgrade them or change them, I'll let you guys know. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in once again to WA UK. I hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, I'm going to get to the drawing board and plan what I'm going to do for the fourth episode. All right, guys, take care, and I will hopefully see you in another video very soon.